If we don't like geometry and we don't like the story questions, then we're going to hate when they have story questions that are about geometry. But if we think about the SAT as just a menu of possible topics, I think it's easy to narrow down what this one is. Let's just kind of draw what they're saying. Uh, two nearby trees are perpendicular to the ground, so okay, great. Here's one example of that. We might be already, already able to see where we're going. Uh, one of these trees is 10 feet tall and has a shadow 5 feet long. The other uh, is um, 2 feet long for the tree, and we want to know... Oh, nope, sorry, flipped it. See, you got to be careful. Um, the shadow is 2 feet long, and we don't know the height of the tree. So there you go. If we just kind of connect these dots here, we're going to see we have triangles. And if we think about our menu of SAT topics, one of the common triangle topics is similar triangles. So these triangles are in proportion. So what we basically can do is just compare things, right? So the 5 and the 10 are comparable, and the 2 is going to match with the x. We can do some cross-multiplying here, but we might even just be able to see it, that the relationship is doubling, right? Times 2 times 2. So 4 is my answer here. That's it. Um, I think that this is going to be really helpful for people who aren't really strong math students, is to remember that they can't ask you anything. The SAT has always been very predictable, right? They have to ask the same topics from test to test. Some things will appear and disappear, but that menu is kind of limited. And if you can practice and take practice tests and kind of learn the menu, you will eventually not be surprised by a whole lot. And for now, if you are if you're watching this video and the new test is still very far on the horizon, then you've got to go back to the old stuff. And I think that that's fine. Go to old current SAT practice tests. You will learn what's on the menu. The menu, as far as I can tell, has not really changed. So that will help you. And then when they start releasing new SAT materials, you'll compare and adjust. But you'll notice a lot of the same topics are going to keep coming up and because you've seen them before you're going to be faster recognizing when it's like something like this, a story that's really just about two triangles.